dear students i shall continue the problems on interpolation we were discussing in the previous class the problems on interpolation that is newton's forward interpolation formula and newton's backward interpolation formula i shall continue the problems on that the next example is like this in the table below the values of y are <coughs> consecutive terms of a series of which 23.6 is the sixth term find the first and the tenth term of the series of the series given that x and y values three four point eight four eight point four five six seven eight nine fourteen point five twenty three point six thirty six point two fifty two point eight seventy three point nine use suitable interpolation use suitable interpolation formula the problem is like this in this we are studying the application of newton's forward and backward interpolation formulas now the statement of the question is like this in the table given below the values of y are consecutive terms of a series of which 23.6 is the sixth term find the first and the tenth term of the series given that x and y values are given 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 these values are given x values and the corresponding values of y are 4.8 8.4 and 14.5 and 23.6 then 36.2 and 52.8 53.9 are there so these values are related each uh, to each other that means y is a function of x where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable then 3 4.8 4 8.4 5 14.5 and 6 23.6 and 7 36.2 8 52.8 and 9 it is 73.9 okay here it is given use suitable interpolation formula that means uh, here we have <coughs> sixth term it is given sixth term is the value 23.6 that is sixth term 23.6 means uh, before that and after that the values are distributed how they are distributed at 6 means starting number is 3 next number is 4 next number is 5 next number is 7 next number is 8 next number is that is 9 that means from 3 up to 9 one unit is the difference between any two successive values of x then we consider these values of x are equally divided that means equally spaced when these values are equally spaced then we can use 
without any hesitation newton's forward interpolation formula and backward interpolation formula respectively to find out the first term and the tenth term that means first term is very close to the beginning of the table and the tenth term is very close to the last term that means last number first number is 3 and the last number is 9 First number means x equal to one. We are given which is very close to three, and x equal to ten, which is which is very close to nine. Therefore, these values are equally spaced. The first condition is satisfied as per the Newton's forward and backward, and the next condition is uh, the first value uh, takes the reference of on the application of Newton's forward interpolation formula, and the next one takes the application of Newton's backward interpolation. formula therefore um, x equal to 1 and x equal to 10 respectively both the formulas in this problem we are going to use after writing the corresponding for a difference table it is a forward difference table or the backward difference table for both we can use the same uh, table that is same values which we are going to write in the form of a table because those values are nothing but uh, Uh, in the order we have taken and we are going to write the table next value minus of previous value so when the next value minus of previous value takes the meaning means that is nothing but for both uh, forward and backward for the application of forward interpolation formula due to newtons that is uh, top diagonal values we are going to consider uh, and we will introduce in the equation and bottom horizontal line we are going to introduce for the backward interpolation formula therefore we form the difference table and then we will use both the formulas so let me write uh, whatever the details which we require okay then here the details are required like this in the solution to find to find a first term first term we use Newton's forward because it is very close to the beginning of the table forward interpolation formula forward interpolation formula and to find tenth term. Tenth term, we use Newton's backward interpolation formula. Newton's backward interpolation formula. Then we'll write the equations according to the requirement. How these Newton's forward and backward are going to be uh, written respectively with the value of u. For forward and uh, the value of u for backward interpolation formula. So we have Newton's forward interpolation formula. That is nothing but y is equal to y naught plus u into delta y naught by one factorial plus u into u minus one. It is delta two y naught. By 2 factorial plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 into delta 3 y naught by 3 factorial it is plus so on. Here u is equal to x minus where u is equal to x minus x naught divided by h and Newton's backward interpolation formula. This is given by y is equal to y n plus so u into it is reverse delta you have to write y n instead of y not by one factorial plus so u into u plus one into u plus two uh, that is u into u u plus one that is delta second order backward difference that is y n by two factorial. Plus of u into u plus one into u plus two 
it is delta 3 yn by 3 factorial and plus so on then u is equal to x minus xn divided by h here x not is the last value and xn is the first value then we prepare the table according to these given values uh, the difference table afterwards we will use the formulas respectively newtons forward and newtons backward let me write the table uh, difference table that is forward difference table only that is x and y then delta y it is delta 2y delta 3y and delta 4y so how many values are given totally 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 values are given up to sixth order difference you have to write that is delta 5y and delta 6y so these are the number of columns you require then as it is you uh, enter the given values 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then y values are given like this that is 4.8 8.4 14.5 23.6 and 36.2 then 36.2 and 52 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 4.8 here uh, this is 36 4.8 then 8.4 14.5 23.6 36.2 then 52.8 then 73.9 these are the values then you write the differences between these numbers here it is 0.5 8.4 uh sorry this is the value 3.6 first value then 6.1 that is these are the values x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 correspondingly the values in the y column will be taken as y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 difference between pairs of numbers next value minus of previous value that is 8.4 minus 4.8 that is 3.6 then between these two that is 6.1 then it is 9.1 then it is 12.6 16. that is 6 and 21. it is 1 in the second order difference column That is 0.5. Then, uh, sorry, second column. That is 2.5. 2.5. That is 4. And uh, 6.1 minus of that is 3.6. That should be uh, 2.5. Then 3.0. Then 3.5. And 4.0, 4.5. Then 0.5 and 0.5, 0.5 and 0.5. And next, obviously, this is zero. This is zero. This is zero. Obviously, this is zero. This is zero. Obviously, this is zero. So this is the table which is to be written. Uh, with the help of next value minus of previous value order of taking the differences will be like this you have to read according to that next value minus of previous value that is nothing but 8.4 here then minus of 4.8 this is the value 
14.5 minus of 8.4, this is the value 6.1. Likewise, other values you have defined. Then 6.1 minus of 3.6 will be 2.5, 9.1 minus of 6.1, that will be 3.0, 12.6 minus of 3.5, that is uh, no, 12.6 minus 9.1, that is 3.5, likewise. Then, difference between 3.0 and 2.5, that is 0.5, and all these values are there. Then, fourth difference onwards, fourth difference onwards, all the values are 0. Therefore, for to find the value, first number, that means y at x equal to 1, we take these values for y at x equal to 1. These values will be substituted in the equation. Okay. Then the bottom values x last value which we have to read. So from these horizontal line, otherwise bottom diagonal, top diagonal and bottom diagonal. This is for Newton's forward interpolation formula. And this is for Newton's backward interpolation formula. So, uh, we shall uh, write the calculations of these two values. What is u here and then what is u here? Here, the x value x equal to that is to find the first term. First term is x equal to 1 and x naught. So, x naught is what value? The first value in the x count that is x naught equal to 3, then h is equal to difference between any two successive values of x, that is 5 minus 4 is 1, that is h is equal to 1, h is equal to 1, that is 3 values, thereby u is equal to x value, that is 1 minus of 3 and divided by h value is 1, this is minus of 2, h value is minus 2, and uh, h, sorry, u value is minus 2. This is the value of u. In this calculation, x is equal to x is equal to 10th term. That is 10. x is equal to 10. And then uh, last number, that is xn in the given table. That is 9. And h is equal to same number 1. Therefore, u is equal to should be x minus xn. That is 10 minus 9 by 1 that is equal to 1. This is the value of u. So all the values you have. Now all the values means equation you have and the value of u you have calculated and the value of u for the backward interpolation formula you have calculated and then only thing how these equations are to be taken care of by the substitution of, of the uh, numericals from the given table. Now, from the given table, we will write 1 by 1 for to, to calculate y at x equal to 1, otherwise it is called the first term of the series. So, the series given at 3 it is 4.8, at 4 it is 8.4, at 5 is equal to 14.5 like that, okay. In the series, at x equal to 1, in the series, at x equal to 1, you have to calculate and write by the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Therefore, by Newton's forward interpolation formula, that is y at x equal to 1, that means first term, we take that one as first term, then this is equal to first value is y naught, y naught is 4.8, then plus of u value, here it is minus 2 and delta y naught that is 3.6 so 3.6 by 1 factorial and minus 2 into u minus 1 that is minus 2 it is minus 1 into delta 2 that is 2.5 divided by it is 2 factorial minus 2 and minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 then it is multiplied by 0 0.5, 0 0.5 by uh, it is 3 factorial plus of 
that is minus 2 into minus 2 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 and that is minus 2 minus 3 multiplied by this zero divided by it is 4 factorial plus so minus 2 into minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 uh, that is Minus two minus two, then next bracket minus two minus three, next bracket it is minus two minus four, and multiplied by zero. This is divided by five factorial, and plus so one more uh, term here to write. That is a fifth order difference. Fifth order difference plus so. Minus two, minus two, minus one, one, minus two, minus two, minus two, minus three, minus two, minus four, and up to minus five. Minus two, minus five. Okay. This is also last number is that is last number difference that is zero divided by it is five factorial. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up to sixth order, you have to go. That is delta to the power six. This is zero. That is zero. This is zero, and this is also zero. Therefore, this calculation comes to be y a x is equal to one. This is equal to three point one. So four point eight is there, and eight point four, fourteen point five. That is twenty three point six. 36.2, 52.8, and 73.9 means then they are in the proper order. All the values are in the increasing order. Then you can easily expect less than this value. As a result, you are getting that is y at x is equal to one as that is 3.1. Then next number that is by Newton's <coughs> backward interpolation formula. By Newton's backward interpolation formula, we have that is u is equal to that means y at x equal to 10 is equal to first last value in the y column as that is 73.9 that is the value of y n plus u value. What is u here? In this case, uh, u is equal to one. That is one into next difference. That is twenty-one point one. That is twenty-one point one by one factorial <coughs> plus one into one plus one. Next is four point five. That is next order difference. That is two factorial. One into one plus one into one plus two into that is point five divided by it is three factorial and plus of plus of one into one plus one into one plus two into one plus three after this point five that is zero divided by it is four factorial plus of one. Into one plus one into one plus two into one plus three into one plus four into zero divided by it is five factorial plus so this is after that last term one into one plus one into one plus two into one plus three into one plus four into one plus uh, that is sorry this is four five up to sixth difference. That is one plus four into one plus five. That is zero divided by it is six factorial. So this value y at x equal to ten. Y at x equal to ten takes the value that is one zero zero point zero zero. That means one hundred. That comes after seventy three point nine. That means the value is. Uh, accepted because it is greater than 73.9. It is 100% correct. Uh, where we uh, approximate this number using Newton's backward interpolation 
formula. So like this, both the formulas in one problem we are going to apply, right? So this is how Newton's backward and forward interpolation formulas, both the equations we can use for a single data. Even you can create in between also some other uh, calculation that also can be done. Intermediate value using the same table that is forward and backward difference table. Only thing when you are using forward difference table, top diagonal values in the table, difference table you have to collect and when you are applying the backward interpolation formula, then bottom diagonal table you have to use it. Okay. So similarly, another problem I should take, one more uh, example on this. Next example is like this. Interpolation formula to find y at x is equal to 1.4 given that given that x and y values are given. That is 1.1, 1.3, 1.5, 1.7, and 1.9. At 1.1, it is 0 0.21. At 1.3, 0 0.69, the, uh, This is at 1.5, 1.25. This is 1.89 and that is 2.61. Here, I shall give few hints for this. Uh, remaining calculation you can do on your own because it is similar to the previous problems. Here it is uh, required calculation is at 1.4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values are given. You can make out uh, the first thing is uh, x values are equally spaced or not. Anyway, 1.1, 1.3 difference is 0 0.2. 1.3, 1.5 difference is 0 0.2, 1.5, 1.7 difference is 0 0.2, 1.7 and 1.9 difference is also 0 0.2. <coughs> Therefore, the difference between any two, <coughs> I'm sorry, a difference between any two successive values is uniform throughout the given distribution. Therefore, they are called equally the divided values. Equally divided values means that you have to write uh, at x equal to 1.1 and x equal to 1.3 and 1.5 and all that, the required number is at 1.4. Anyway, this is your central value. This is your central value means you have to depend on uh, the number, asking number, whether it comes uh, before the central value or after the central value. This 1.4 comes before the central value, then uh, with the, uh, then 100 percent that you have to use a Newton's forward interpolation formula only, but not the Newton's backward interpolation 
formula. Then, according to Newton's forward interpolation formula, you write the equation. Then, from that equation, you calculate the value of u. Afterwards, when uh, you form the difference table, and from that table, top diagonal values you have to take, and then you have to obtain what is the value of y at x equal to 1.4. Therefore, uh, here you can write uh, for y at x equal to 1.4, we use Newton's forward interpolation formula. Newton's forward interpolation formula. We use Newton's forward interpolation formula to calculate y at x is equal to 1.4. That formula is given as y is equal to, anyway, afterwards I will write. First of all, we will write the difference table. That is uh, uh, forward difference table. Then x, y and then delta y, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values are given. Up to which order of difference we have to write? When 5 values are given, 1 number less. There is up to 4th order difference. Delta y, it is delta 2y, delta 3y and delta, it is 4y. Then, x and y values, you define your, according to this, you define x and y values. Then, you write the interpolation formula. Your x values are given that is at 1.1, next is 1.2, next is 1.3, 1.4, oh sorry, 1.1, 1.3, then 1.5, 1.7, and 1.9, 0 0.29, 21. And 0 0.69 and 1.25, then 1.89 and 2. Point, it is 6.961. Okay. Now you form the difference table. According to this difference table, you have to obtain the calculation uh, of y at x equal to 1.4. Therefore, 0 0.69 minus of 0.21. You take the difference. These values are called x0, x1, x2, x3 and x4. Correspondingly, these values are called y0, y1, y2, y3 and then y4. Then 0 0.69 minus of 0 0.21. That is 9 minus 1 is 8 and 6 minus 2 is 4. This is with 0 0.48. Next is, that is for 6. Uh, 15 minus 9 that is equal to 6, then 11, this is 5, then it is 0, then it is 9 minus 5, it is 4, 8 minus 2 is uh, 6 and 0 0.64. Next is, that is 2, uh, 11 minus 9 is 2, then 5 minus uh, 8 is 7 and then 1 remains that is 0 0.72, that is 0. Uh, 0.72. Next, 6, that is 0.56 minus 48, that is 48, 2 and then 6, 0 0.8, that means 0 0.08. This is 0 0.08 and 0 0.64 and then minus of 0.56, that is 4 plus 4, this is also 0 0.08. Then, uh, 0 0.72 minus of 64. This is uh, uh, 6 plus 2, 8. This is also 0 0.08. Then, obviously, this becomes 0, this becomes 0, and finally, this value becomes 0. That means, your next value minus of previous value, uh, 0.69 minus of 0.21, that gives us 0 0.48, and point, uh, uh, 1.25 minus uh, 0 0.69, you will get 0 0.56, 1.89 minus 1.25, that is 0 0.64, 2.61 minus of 1.89, that becomes 0 0.72. Then 0 0.56 minus 
0.48 is 0.08, then 0.64 minus of 0.56, 0.08, then 0.08. Next value. So difference between these two values obviously 0, 0. Therefore, we will select uh, to substitute these values for Newton's forward interpolation formula. That means top diagonal for Newton's forward interpolation formula. This is for Newton's forward interpolation formula. Then, what is u? u is equal to x minus x naught divided by h. What is that? Your x is equal to unknown number. This is 1.4. Okay. Minus of at x naught. That is 1.1. So, 1.1 is the initial value in the x column. That is first value in the x column. Therefore, 1.4 is the unknown number. x naught is the first number. And divided by h is 0. Point, it is 2. 0. 0.2 is the difference between any two successive values. Therefore, 1.4 and minus of 1.1 is that is 0. Point, it is 3 divided by 0. Point 0.2 this is 3 divided by 2 3 divided by 2 means this is u and u is equal to that is 3 by 2 means 1 point it is 5 so this is the value of u to be substituted in newton's forward interpolation formula okay then Newton's forward interpolation formula. We have Newton's forward interpolation formula. We have y is equal to it is y naught and plus of up to fourth order difference you have to go. That is u into delta y naught by 1 factorial u into u minus 1 and delta 2 y naught by it is 2 factorial plus u into it is u minus 1 into u minus 2 that is delta 3 y naught by 3 factorial plus u into u minus 1 into u minus 2 into u minus 3 that is delta 4 y naught that is delta 4 y naught divided by it is 4 factorial then value of u is equal to 1.5 then you need to write the difference table uh, values are to be introduced in the equation. Therefore, y at x equal to 1.4 is equal to first value that is y naught. y naught means 0. Point, it is 2 1, 0. 0.21 plus so u value it is 1.5 into first difference that is 0. 0.48 by 1 factorial plus so 1.5 then multiplied by 1.5 uh, 1.5 1 uh, that is u into u minus 1 according to this 1.5 minus 1 then it is 0 0.48 means 0 0.08 divided by it is 2 factorial plus of 1.5 into 1.5 minus 1 into 1.5 minus 2. This becomes 0 0.08. Okay. 0 0.08 of uh, 0 0.21 is over. 0 0.48 is over. 0 0.08 is over. Next is 0. That is 0 divided by it is 3 factorial. And the last number is also 0 plus of the formula is to be extended plus of 1.5 into 1.5 minus 1 into 1.5 minus 2 into 1.5 minus of 3 that is multiplied by last number is also 0 divided by it is 4 factorial because there are totally 5 values are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 therefore fourth order difference is constant that means according to the table the last number is 0 that is also 0 divided by this much. Then we can take the simplification what this value gives uh, uh, from the step that is the value of y 
x x equal to 1.4. Therefore, y at 1.4 is approximately equal to that is 0 0.96. That is y at 1.4. That 1.4 comes in between 1.3 and 1.5. Here 0 0.69 and 1.25. And you are getting this value as 0 0.96, which goes can be accepted in between these two values. Since the values of y are also appeared in the proper order, that means increasing order, so that we can also expect that value to be appeared in, in, in between the in between those values. Let me write one more example on this uh, Newton's forward and backward interpolation formula so that we can uh, uh, conclude by writing afterwards some general problems and then I shall give the next topic discussion. So one more problem I shall take. I will solve one more problem on this. Find y at x equal to 8 using suitable interpolation formula. Using suitable interpolation formula given that x and y values are given that is 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. These values are given 7 and then 11, then 14, then 18, then 24, and 32. The interpolating value is x equal to 8. You can think of that which uh, interpolation formula you are going to use either Newton's forward interpolation formula or Newton's backward interpolation formula. Which formula you are going to use? Here x is equal to 8 uh, at x equal to 8 is to be interpolated. That means what is the value of y at x equal to 8? So 8 comes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values are there. Then 6 values means 3 values and 3 values means 10 and 15. The central value, middle value becomes the central position. That is 10 and 15 means 12.5 will be the central value. But the asking number, that means the value which is to be interpolated is given as at x equal to 8. At x equal to 8, you find the value of y at x equal to 8 means that comes before 12.5. 0, 5, 10 means in between these two numbers only x equal to 8 comes but the central value is 12.5 then it is very near to the beginning of the table then we use Newton's forward interpolation formula. Therefore, uh, in the solution let me write that sentence <coughs> here we use Newton's forward interpolation formula interpolation formula to find y at x equal to 8. x equal to 8 means near the beginning of the table, near the beginning of the table. Then what is that equation y is equal to y naught, how many values are there? 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स अब तो फिफ्थ ऑर्डर डिफरेंस यू आर राइट दैट इज वाई नॉट प्लस यू इन टू इट इज डेल्टा वाई नॉट यू इन टू डेल्टा वाई नॉट बाई वन फैक्टोरियल यू इन टू यू माइनस वन इट इज डेल्टा टू वाई नॉट बाई टू फैक्टोरियल यू इन टू यू माइनस वन इट इज यू माइनस टू डेल्टा थ्री वाई नॉट बाई थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन then u is equal to x minus x not by h then x is equal to 8 and x not is equal to first value 0 then h is equal to difference between any two successive values the difference between any two successive values is 0 and 5 5 units 5 and 10 5 units 10 and 15 5 units 15 and 20 5 units and 20 and 25 Five units. Therefore, h is equal to five. We have to take, and then uh, u is equal to your x minus x naught. That is eight minus. Uh, that is uh, eight minus. What is that? X naught zero and divided by five. So eight minus uh, divided by five. U is equal to. That is equal to one point. Six, you are getting. Then form the difference table. That is x and y, and then delta y, then delta two y, and delta three y, and delta four y. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up to delta five y, you are right. Okay. Then up to fifth order difference, you have to write. And then how these. differences are going to be written inside the table then you have to write these differences in the diagonal difference table form because newton's forward interpolation formula will take that is diagonal difference table type of values 0 it is 5 it is 10 15 20 25 correct That is totally six values are there. Five, it is ten, it is fifteen, twenty, ah, uh, five, ten, zero, five, zero, five, zero. It is five, it is ten, it is fifteen, it is twenty, and then twenty-five. So the numbers: it is seven, eleven, it is fourteen, eighteen. And twenty-four, it is thirty-two. Then this is seven, eleven minus eleven minus seven. Okay. Then four, you have to write. Next is three. Next is four. Next is six, and next is eight. Now the difference between these numbers: three minus four minus one. Four minus three is plus one. Six minus four is two. Eight minus six is plus two. One minus of one, this is two. Two minus of one is one, and two minus of two is zero. This is one minus of two is minus one, and then zero is this is minus one. Minus one and plus one. Minus of minus one that becomes plus one. Then the answer is a uh, final value is zero. Therefore, top diagonal values. This is x naught. This is y naught. So top diagonal values are to be used to find Newton's forward interpolation formula application. Then already equation we have written. According to this equation, we have to substitute. Then I shall write y at x equal to eight. You have to write y at x equal to eight. The first value on the right side that is y naught. It is equal to seven plus of u. U is 1.6, 1.6 into that is first difference that is into 4 by 1 factorial plus 1.6 into 1.6 minus 1. Then it is after this 4 is minus 1. Then uh, by 2 factorial plus 1.6. Then 1.6 minus 1, 1.6. Minus two, that is multiplied by two. 
then by three factorial uh, afterwards after this two here plus of 1.6 into 1.6 minus 1 1.6 minus 2 1.6 minus 3 that is multiplied by into minus 1 by it is 4 factorial and plus of 1.6 into 1.6 minus 1 1.6 minus 2 into 1.6 minus 3 into 1.6 it is minus 4 and multiplied by it is 0 divided by it is 5 factorial this is the introduction of all the values whatever we have calculated in the form of a table then the value of y at x equal to 8 you will be getting y at x equal to 8 you will be getting the value uh, that is equal to Twelve point y at x equal to eight. Twelve point it is seven seven. Twelve point seven seven. And for the same problem, we can uh, find out at x equal to twenty two. Uh, what is that value? Even twenty two, you can also calculate. Let me add the question at x equal to twenty two. That means after twenty, that becomes. We can write Newton's backward interpolation formula. So with this, uh, all the problems are we have covered, and now I shall write some extra problems to apply Newton's forward or backward or both uh, in some of the data, so that you can uh, go through all the problems which we solved, and then uh, by that knowledge you can solve some extra problems which I am going to write now. Here the main heading I will write: View suitable interpolation formula use suitable interpolation formula to find to find the value of y to find the value of y. Value of y at x. First example. That is p and t. There is some explanation, but only the numerical values I am going to write. That is six p. That is pressure and time. Six p. It is two twenty six. Then seven p. It is two fifty. Here eighty. Then two seventy six. And then ninety. It is three zero four. Then you need to calculate here at eighty four. Find find p at P is equal to eighty-four. Then second problem. Find the cubic polynomial. Find the cubic polynomial for the following data. Otherwise, following values, and hence, and hence obtain, and hence obtain y at x is equal to six point five. Given that, given that x and y 
that is 2, 4, that is 6, then 8, then 10. The values of y, they are given like this. The values of y are 1, it is 3, then 5, that is 10 and 12. These are the values. That is find the cubic polynomial, that means third degree equation. 2, 4, 6, uh, that means totally 5 values are there. Find the fourth degree polynomial. It is fourth degree because 5 values are there. Then, the next example is third one given sin 45 degree is equal to 0 0.7071 sin 50 degree equal to <coughs> 0 0.760 sin 55 degree 0 0.8192 sin 60 degree equal to 0 0.8660 find <coughs> find sin of 52 degree sin of 52 degree using using interpolation formula using interpolation formula then like this uh, plenty of problems you can notice but in this uh, you have to identify at which value of x value of y is to be calculated for the first problem this is 84 1 2 3 4 4 values are there this is 75 is the central value but 84 comes to near to the end of the table so for this newtons it is backward interpolation formula you have to use and here uh, to find anyway fourth degree equation you are going to find out and 6.5 the 1 2 3 4 5 this is the central value then 6.5 is that 6.5 means that comes after the central value therefore 6.5 to calculate then here also this is for Newton's backward interpolation formula. Then for this, that is 52, 45, then 50, then 55, and then 60. 1, 2, 3, then 4 values are there. That is 50 and 45 in between. Uh, sorry, 50 and 55 in between. 52.5 is the central value. But here it is asked that 52, then you have to find out by using Newton's forward interpolation formula. So, Newton's forward interpolation formula for the third data which you have to use, and then you must obtain uh, by applying the suitable interpolation formula. Suitable means according to the asking number where x lies the corresponding value of y. So the remaining topic I shall continue in the next class.